Alright, we are in Setubal and it's the 10th of September 2011. Next to us is the winner of the 1977 Eurovision Song Contest. We just took it from the uh, um, soundtrack outside and it's quite windy outside. That's why we have a bit of a uh, modern hairstyle. Marie Mariam, nice yes, to meet sir. you. Hi. <laughs> it's very nice to, to see you again. We, we met previously before in Cologne Thank you. some years ago. Yes, uh, you won Eurovision. In 1977. Yes. How did you get to Eurovision actually? Um, with a, um, a concours. Okay. How do you say? A concours? A national final in Boston. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it was uh, uh, people called the TV to choose me, and uh, well, I represent France. And uh, uh, the last winner for France was, uh, was uh, Frida Bocapa. She won in '69, and after it was me. Fantastic. So, so somebody discovered you basically in, uh, for French yeah. television. Yeah. They. Um, uh, well, it was. How do you call it? Competition. 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 Merci. It was a competition, French competition. So uh, I was unknown, of course, mm -hmm. and uh, and um, we are we were fourteen artists, and uh, with uh, they. Three or four, three TV shows, big TV shows, and people chose me by phone. But uh, first, uh, I met uh, Jean-Paul Carrat, the composer, uh, really totally uh, par hasard. It's uh, because my parents had a restaurant, a Portuguese restaurant, and, um, and he, he was there to, to eat, of course, but I was uh, downstairs, there was a place where we can do music. And uh, I was there and I was singing there. So he heard my voice, he asked my mother, who is singing? And uh, I was 18. So, uh, so we, we began to work together. Um, so one song we did before is My Colombe, and um, she never had nothing in, in the life. And the second one was Les Well, that's a fantastic story you tell yeah. us there that I have not heard before. Uh, actually, being in Setubal in Portugal is hometown for you, home ground for you. Because you, you were born in Portugal? Yeah, so I was not born in Portugal. I was born in Congo, Belgium, Congo. Because my grandparents lived there 60 years, during 60 years, 60, huh? mm -hmm. 60. 60 yeah. And um, so my parents knew there, they married there, and I was born there. And after it was independence war, so we came, and my parents chose to go to France. So, uh, so uh, I sang for France because I was French. So uh, I represent French, but my origins, of course, are Portuguese. My blood is Portuguese. My my both parents are Portuguese, and uh, I speak Portuguese as well Fantastic. as I speak French. Uh, not as well as I speak English. Sorry. Uh, no, no, no. But but you also you sang the song Oiseau et l'enfant. Yeah. In different different languages. Yes. Uh, in German. In German. Question: Can you do a bit of that in German? Yes, of course. Um, it's, it's the only one I remember because it, it was the only one I had to, I had to learn uh, to, to, to say the words. It's very difficult. I don't speak German at all. So, uh, so I, it's the only one I remember. So it's, it's um, um, Ich bin ein Kind mit glänzenden Augen, wenn über mir die Vögel singen. Sie fliegen fort, so hoch wie die Schwalben und schauen hinab. Die Welt ist schön. Und dachte, ist schön, ist das Boot und dann. Oh, fantastic. I got water in my eyes now. <laughs> It's amazing, oh, wow. amazing um, experience for me to, to interview you. Yeah. It's really nice. In 1977, can you tell us about a nice anecdote from the competition itself? What do you remember? Yes, of course I remember because uh, uh, all people uh, was waiting uh, I just went one and everybody was waiting I came another time to, sec to sing the second time and the cameraman with the big big camera and uh, that time the cameras uh, were very very big and uh, he's uh, working in back and, uh, and he fell he fell down fall over. yeah <laughs> so um, I stopped crying because I was crying of, of laughter yeah of <laughs> so I stopped crying I said oh my god some, somebody get, get high give me it highs to him because it's a blue eye and yeah. uh, and uh, Angela Ripon was presenting a revision mm. song contest and she was saying that uh, is she drinking champagne <laughs> what is she doing she doesn't everybody's waiting for her and she's not yeah. coming so uh, it was because he was he was down in all the 
was on, found out. Uh, so. poor, poor but it's good because uh, it's, um, I, I must thank you, this man, because I sang the, the, the second time very well, and it was uh, because he helped me. Oh, he fantastic. asked to sing me because it was, uh, yeah. I was stopping crying. Oh, fantastic, fantastic story there. Um, after Eurovision, mm -hmm. how did it continue in your career? You, you participated in other competitions. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, no, no, com not competitions, but I, I continue my career, and, uh, and uh, sometimes I, uh, I give the points for Eurovision contest. I came back because, uh, of course, this year is going, is 30. 35 yeah? Yeah. years, France doesn't win. Oh, so yeah. each year they ask me to or to be president of the jury, the French mm -hmm. jury, or to give the points. Uh, I don't go each year, but uh, yes, I understand that. Uh, it's very interesting what you say because uh, this year Amori Vasali came for France. And uh, we interviewed Amari Davé just before the con contest, and uh, she was not really fond of that song of what France sent in this year. What, what, about, what is your opinion on that? Yes, song I, you? I like this song. Amari's song? You're mm -hmm. speaking about yeah. Amari's song. Yes, of course I like this song, but because this song is, um, you know, uh, I don't know, I don't know if you know a few, uh, three. Italian guys, they are singing opera. Uh, El, El Trivo? Uh, El Trivo? Yes. And it's very useful now to sing opera because opera is being, is being in, in variety. Yes. Yeah? And so uh, his song is uh, for me, for the Eurovision, it was what, what everybody loves or everybody hates. Yes. Uh, it can be in the middle. Yes. Yeah. But Amori also has a problem, got the problem of sounds yeah. they hear. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't work during uh, uh, almost uh, 40 or 45 seconds, which is a lot of time for the song. And he was not hearing very good the sound, so he, he doesn't sing well. He should, he should stop and say, please do it again, because my earring doesn't work. He should do this. Just like, like it was in 1990 when Spain yes. started off the contest. Exactly. Yeah. And, um, you part of the juries now nowadays? Uh, no, I, I was this year. Just this year, I was again president of French jury. Mm -hmm. But uh, and, uh, we had um, something body for the, of the law with us. Monsieur, uh, 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 lawyer, mm -hmm. to take our points. And uh, the, this is was Friday because we we vote on uh, the jury's on, final day. Yeah, on Friday, and after it was Saturday. It was the public votes by phone. And then we're mixed together. But would you actually want to come back and sing at Eurovision, France? No, no, Why really not? not. No, because uh, I did, uh, I did one time. I know it's very, it's very hard now. It's not uh, at all like I knew. You know, I sang with orchestra, oh. really orchestra, and I think uh, I miss the orchestra for a singer. Yeah. We miss orchestra, we miss musicians, and uh, mm. yes, I know you can you can bring your choruses, but but the musicians are not the same. I miss the the musicians. The, the orchestra. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I couldn't go to sing with uh, like that. Okay, I understand because we are a lot of, and I understand because the now with uh, the est of, of, of Europe mm. uh, is uh, we are in totally. 45 countries participating. Yes. Yeah. Well, 43, 40, I think 43 was the, 43. the maximum. So imagine all the, all the, the orchestra doing for. But maybe they can do just for the, the last show, just for the, the Saturday. Final itself, yes. The final itself, mm. yes. No, that, could be, that could be an option. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I miss this. Uh, music production, you're continuing to put new music out? Are there any plans for new music from your side? If I continue to do music yes. and singing, mm -hmm. yes, of course. Yes. I, I go, I'm going back tomorrow because I have a show uh, in concert in North of France, okay. near Lille, mm -hmm. Lille yeah, yeah. near there. I was singing there and uh, well, and I continue to sing. And, uh, but, but is there a plan of for a new album, no. a new CD to No, no, not the new CD is, uh, the last CD was, uh, uh, the last one is a best of. Mm -hmm. And before is um, a Christmas one with the, uh, Symphonic Orchestra of Budapest. That would be so, nice to yeah, listen to it. Very nice. But uh, unfortunately, uh, the, the company doesn't make any publicity, mm -hmm. anything. So, 
Okay, it was I was very sad because it's really a, a good album, and uh, you know we I continue to to sing, but of course less than 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 the other years. Yeah. Because now I'm a grandmother, a very happy grandmother. Oh, congratulations on that yeah, one! Thank yeah. you, and it's a real pleasure, and I'm I'm very happy to to have her and then keep my little girl. Yeah. I heard before that there was a, uh, that you actually have a restaurant in, in Paris or France. Yeah, I, I was uh, I grew up in the, my parents' restaurants, mm -hmm. and was when my father became to be ill, very ill, he asked us to to have the restaurant. Okay. So we kept the restaurant seven years mm -hmm. with my husband. Of course, I couldn't keep the restaurant alone, and uh, and after it was complicated because people were coming and say, no, Marie. Is not there? We we brought uh, something to sign, and uh, he's not here. And uh, I couldn't do the, the both the restaurant and an art artistic. Uh, so we stay seven years, and also the the real truth is because um, my father is. I was always seeing my father in everywhere because it was really what he made. It was uh, he, he opened this restaurant in '62. So uh, in February '62. So for me, it was really difficult to to be there and mm. and without him. And, yes. Uh, and always remember uh, him. And uh, I made a, a photo in there in the restaurant. I, 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 it was a photo, but it's so difficult. It's a real difficult life and uh, difficult. Uh, and sometimes, yeah, remember. And sometimes in your life, you must turn the page of your book and do a, no, a new story and uh, continue your story, but in another way. So yes. it's what, what I did with my mother and my sister. It was very difficult to do that, mm. but we did this. It's, and it's better now. I think we were right to do this. Yeah. Yeah. On that note, thank you very much, uh, Marie. You're welcome. Very, to very pleasure. Check with us and, and to take the time. It's a real honor to have you uh, on uh, our video and also on the radio. Yeah. And we wish you a lot of fun with your grandchildren. Yeah. Your so I must say, if it's in video, that uh, my hair is not like the, the, the real uh, hair I, I, I try to have tonight, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> It'll be windy probably as well. So. Yes, windy, very windy. Okay. But good luck for tonight as well. Thank Bye. you.